Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, our first finalist, Leslie Ray. Past or present, present or past, rage in red, provoke. Dramatic and definitely hard to miss. It's the color of danger, passion, and vitality. She looks ahead to the 21st century to rediscover American design ingenuity with J.H. Collectibles, untamed elegance. Boldly conceived and professionally advanced, she is a daring departure in design resolutely contemporary as benefits a new generation. However we define, we look to it for the promise of the new, from contour to content. Its functions and form we rely on, convenience we count on. Leslie Rage brings ideas that reinterpret and improve the familiar. When you dress with a certain intellect, you'd be surprised how much is said. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number six, Miss Leslie Ray. Thank you, Leslie. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, let's hear it. You didn't clap. Oh, that was good. Yay. Yeah, oh. just y'all need anything like a cocktail or whatever? No cocktail. So to speak. No pun intended. They can't drink tonight. Oh, they can't drink? No. <laughs> Forget you then. Just water. <laughs> Okay. Are we ready, judges? We are. Y'all smile. Isn't that special? Ladies and gentlemen, our next contestant, contestant number nine, Diane Michaels. With the winds of the season blowing in, the need to stay warm is overpowered only by the desire to look your best. Diane definitely achieved this goal in a, in a creation made especially for her from the designs of Anne Klein. The wool hound suit jacket is placed over a silk blouse and tapered wool pants. Gold earrings are enhanced with black and pearl ornamentation as black square, I'm sorry, black suede pumps, square heeled, and black hose finish off this ideal look for Diane. The cooler the weather, the warmer the clothes and the heart. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, Miss Diane Michaels. Contestant number nine, Miss Diane Michaels. Thank you. Did y'all like Tasha's first costume? She is a body without a mind. Kind of like you. Uh-huh, and you're... Don't try. And you're a Don't mind try. without a body, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got... Hey! Hey! Calm down. So she got me. She's stupid. She deserves one. Okay. Judges, are we ready? We want to write quick, okay? We ain't got all night long. We gotta do this quick. We're running this by the hour. Yes. We have to get out of here. Kind of like her face. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> big hair, big hair. Uh-huh, okay. I'm gonna snatch it off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and distinguished judges, contestant number 14, Miss Jack Jacqueline Devereaux. Direct from the runways of New York City, Jacqueline brings you a stylish ensemble that only the designers of Lily Rubin can create. In the essential colors of black and white, this asymmetrical jacket and black slim skirt are fitted perfectly to accent the divine accent, the divine figure of Miss Devereaux. Contemporary and full of festivity with just the right amount of attitude. A carefree scarf is attached to the shoulder. The signature of high fashion is evident in this outfit, impeccable fit and classic line. Tastefully designed black suede shoes 
and appropriate jewelry are the obvious choices in making this ensemble complete. When a today's woman wants to step out in the force, this is the ensemble she will be wearing. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, in a perfect example of contemporary fashion for the woman of the 90s, we present for your approval, Miss Jacqueline Devereaux. Contestant number 14, Miss Jacqueline Devereaux. Thank you, madam. They're gorgeous. Don, have I told you how beautiful you look tonight? Anybody got some boots I can borrow? You're wearing them. Okay. Or those boats. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Next. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to get her. Hold on. Just wait. I know you will. I'm afraid. <laughs> Are we ready? Judges and lovely audience, let's welcome to the stage contestant number 23, Miss Diana Pepsi. Exclusive. A top name created this two-piece double-breasted suit expressly for Miss Pepsi for this special event but made her promise not to reveal the name. It doesn't have to be business as usual when it's done this designer's way. These options are beautifully executed in camel wool crepe, refreshed with black trim. When lunching with Donna Karen, Dieta was presented with these dazzling onyx and gold earrings. And not to be topped by Donna, Lisa Violetto presented our Miss Pepsi with a silk leopard printed scarf. To complete her look, Dieta wears leather gloves and, exec and executive career pumps. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, contestant number 23, Dieta Pepsi. You're gorgeous. Ladies, gentlemen, and distinguished judges, contestant number 23, Miss Diana Pepsi. Wow, girl. Woo! You do that well. Woo! Do it Am again. I talking too fast for you? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Read this! <laughs> okay. I think that bitch would never leave. Okay. Let's welcome to the stage, distinguished judges and our lovely audience, contestant number 26, Ramona Leger. From the boardroom of Trump Tower to the stage of Miss Gay America in Dallas, Texas, Ramona steps out in this classic look for a modern-day woman on her way up the ladder to success. This fitted suit of houndstooth consists of a jacket that is cut for comfort and is also figure-flattering and is trimmed with cotton velvet and black braided cord trim at the lapels and a pointed tuft. The skirt is fitted and also figure-flattering. Ramona accessorizes her suit with a black turtleneck, black suede gloves, opaque hose, suede heels by Studio Palo, and silver earrings. Ramona believes when dressing for success, you first have to know how to successfully dress. And this complete look for the office or for a special event such as Miss Gay America is the most appropriate example of contemporary fashion for today's woman on the way up the ladder of success. Ladies and gentlemen, in contemporary fashion sportswear, Miss Ramona Leger.
Contestant number 32. No, I'm sorry. Oh. 26, Ramon Lillager. Oh. You moved it on me. She only has one little thing to say. See? <laughs> here, this is, what, this is your line here. Anyway, <laughs> white folks are hell, ain't they? Um, just kidding, just kidding. Love them, love them to death. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, have you bought any school books lately? <laughs> anyway, are we ready? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> contestant number 32, Kelly Cruz. Dramatic yet sporty, classic yet contemporary. Kelly Cruz turns this blazing red suit into hot fashion. A dramatic creation from Anne Klein. This stunning ensemble meets all the fashion requirements by keeping it classic while still serving the future. Its image is timeless. Its appeal is eternal. The femininity of the double-breasted jacket creates simplicity in the lines of this two-piece ensemble, which is definitely shaped to flatter. Kelly translates fashion news into pure flattery with the accompaniment of the short, straight skirt. Kelly chose matte gold earrings by Anne Klein to finish the important contrast. Red suede pumps by Charles Jordan add practical perfection and a sheer sense of style. Kelly knows that no other woman knows that there is nothing more beautiful than a confident woman. Ladies and gentlemen, sophistication at its finest, Miss Kelly Cruz. Give her a big smile, honey. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 32, Miss Kelly Cruz. Thank you. How many of you are going out after this is all over with? Yeah. Are you going out afterwards? I heard there's a party in your room. Is this true? Why couldn't she just answer my question? Did anybody say about No, it? I'm not going out. I'm going back to the hotel, girl. I'm getting some sleep, okay? <laughs> Good. You are all safe. Okay. Distinguished judges, let's welcome to the stage contestant number 46. Miss Whitney Page. With the flair of tradition and sophistication, contestant number 46, Whitney Page, brings to you in sportswear competition an original creation by Sheldon of Dallas. This black and purple two police suit truly gives of the air of fall. Crafted from 100% wool, keeps Whitney in season and adds to the fresh, clean look. To polish, to polish the look, Whitney has chosen gold accessories by Monet along with black pumps. To finish off the look, Whitney has added the simplest of accessories, a smile. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, for your approval this evening, contestant number 46, Whitney Page. Thank you, Whitney. Let's give her a big round of applause. Now I want you to know them a street walking punk. Woo! Can you wear those kind of I did in the opening production, remember? I rest my case. <laughs> okay. And what were you wearing? Enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, judges, are we ready? Walmart fashion. Are you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kmart. Yes, that long Kmart. Line girdle you were wearing, Louise. <laughs> Honey, Madonna did your mother did give you that girdle? She should have. Madonna okay. did. 
Madonna did? Yes. It looks better on her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and well, it Ladies good. and gentlemen and distinguished judges, let's welcome to the stage contestant number 50, Tomorrow Mahorning. Packing a punch so powerful and secure, Tamara has chosen a neoclassic orange crepe suit by Exposé of New York City. The stylish tailoring of the suit expresses every cut and curve of Tamara's figure. This suit, taken straight from the fashion world, is a bold yet creative touch for today's look. The skirt, cut just above the knee, gives this suit a clean, concise picture. Hair design is kept soft and flowing, and jewelry is molded and designed in a work of mosaic art that creates a painted perfect picture by Anne Klein. Daring to be unique, or just daring to be Tamara, this ensemble enhances today's fashion in a yet more colorful, conservative way. A monochromatic scheme has been kept keeping your eyes focused on this lovely ensemble. Matching hosiery and leather pumps add a zesty taste to complete this look. Be gone are the days of black, grays, and browns, and a definite yes to putting on a look of success behind a punch of power. Contestant number 50, Miss Tamara Mahorning. Contestant number 50, thank you. Hold on. Now, can somebody order her some chicken? You're a fine one to talk about chicken. Have you seen her latest boyfriend? He hadn't finished high school yet. Are you into buying books and jeans? You know, they got a, they got a, a sale going on at Kmart you should go check out, baby. Yeah, I know, but okay, I think you bought everything, Okay, let's welcome our you? contestant number 56. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Brooke Carrington. Brooke emerges with the energy of a confident woman in this creative innovation by Unbiased. A maximum display of qualities found in those who thrive for high style. An exquisite black wool crepe dress fitted to accentuate Miss Carrington's curvaceous figure make for an effective modern statement. Brooke displays a priority to today's contemporary fashion in this houndstooth swing coat with exquisite black wool crepe lapels and oversized cuffs. Accessori accessorizing this powerful classic could only be handled with simplicity. Black aggressive pumps keep this action-minded contestant confident. Accenting with brushed gold earbobs are what makes the difference between dress and being well-dressed. Surpassing commitment to successful dress, Brooke Carrington is today's woman in contemporary fashion. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, for your contestant for Miss Gay America, contestant number 56, Miss Brooke Carrington. Thank you, Brooke. Miss Brooke Carrington. We have one more finalist, and then we're going to give you some more special entertainment. Okay. Oh, you... Now, when the gentleman comes out that you have to introduce, you have to give him this microphone, okay? Okay. Okay. Judges, are we ready? Raise your head so I know that I can see your eyes. Isn't that special? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 57, Coco.
style that speaks the language of contemporary tailoring with a flair for drama. Shapes and angles in pure black wool. Cut and draped in a pattern evocative of classic European couture. Coco models this striking two-piece single-breasted suit with distinctively tapered elongated lapels that perfectly align jacket and skirt into the superlative ensemble by Bagley Mishka. She wears black suede pumps by Steiger with matching earrings and a silk scarf of floral design by the House of Chanel. Presented with poise and artistry, sophistication and versatility, they're the essential elements which give this suit timeless value. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 57, Miss Coco. Judges and distinguished audience, we give you contestant number 57, Coco. Thank you, Coco. Okay, that's our top ten. Now, I'm going to leave it to you.